Praxis, and I'm here today working on the decking that goes on the first floor area. Uh, it is built up out of these two by six boards, they're tongue and groove boards. Here's a little piece of one, so you can see that there's like what's called a tongue and a groove on one side, and they kind of fit one into the other as you go down. And uh, it's, it's kind of a tedious process. Every time it, uh, the board passes over one of these floor joists, it's four nails to go in, and it's a lot of um, uh, precision to make sure that the board is nice and snug up next to the board next to it, that it is pressed down to the floor joist beneath it uh, so it's not you know uh, up and wiggling. I know in the last homestead I made it had a similar kind of floor, and there were a couple places around the house, and I have memorized where they were, where there were creaky floorboards. Uh, and those were in places where, you know, the boards were wiggling a little bit. So doing it this time, having done it once before incorrectly, I'm making sure that things are really, uh, you know, nice and tight and down. And, uh, you know, hopefully we're going to, you know, avoid having creaky boards. Not that it's the worst thing in the world. I guess it's kind of like a burglar alarm <laughs> having creaky floorboards, but it's also kind of annoying. So I've been working on that. Uh, I, the tools I've been using uh, is a clamp to clamp the boards down. I've got some uh, blocks. Uh, whenever I'm using a clamp on boards that are gonna be finished, especially when it's made out of the softwood, I'm always putting down a block on top and then clamping down like that so that I'm not getting little circular uh, uh, you know, impressions uh, put, put all, all over the thing. I'm also using a, a little punch. It's like a, I don't know what these are called. It's like a nail punch. You drive the nail in, and then you put this on top, tap this in, and this can get the nail set even a little deeper in the wood, and then you can uh, patch it over later. Uh, interestingly, it says that uh, this is for lineup use only, not for impact use. And it's like this is, that's like all it's for is for impact use. <laughs> this tool, I don't know if that's like a legal thing. They put it on there. It's like, oh, well, you're using it off purpose. I, I guess it's just for like, you know, being a straight edge or whatever, so it's kind of silly. But yeah, I've uh, yesterday I did uh, three boards across here. I took most of the day yesterday just lining everything up, getting all this uh, together. And uh, I'm here today and I'm finishing up. Well, I'm not gonna finish up, but I'm continuing with the process of putting down the floorboards. One thing uh, that I know from last time that I did it that I have to be careful with is that I need to make sure that, um, there's a car coming down. Uh, just some truck. I need to make sure that the floorboards that I'm starting over there and the floorboards that I'm starting here are going to match when they come together. There's an open section around where the wood stove is, and just because these are two by six board, uh, two by six boards doesn't mean you can do uh, like easy multiplication and to figure out exactly how many they're going to be. And then you do them on one side, do them on the other, and they absolutely line up when they you know come together. There's always little gaps. The gaps add up and you know maybe they add up a little bit more on one side than the other. So it, at some point what I'm going to be doing is putting some marks on these boards, measuring off the back, you know maybe putting a mark every foot or so. So as I'm putting the boards down I'll be able to see how close they are to the mark, compare them to the other side and get both sides kind of lined up you know by maybe adding a little bit of gap you know uh, cumulatively to one side that seems like it's falling behind, uh, you know, so that when they, the boards do come together in the middle here, they're gonna line up perfectly. So that's all I'm doing. It's a nice breezy day. It's, it's kind of hot. Maybe I shouldn't have worn black, but I got so much sun yesterday, I wanted to kind of protect my skin as best I could. Uh, you know, I guess I could have worn a sweater, but that'd be even worse. But, uh, but yeah, it's going well, going slowly. This kind of part of the process goes, always goes really slowly. But once I finish with this, I'm gonna have a nice flat workspace to work on everything else. That's it. Thanks for watching.